Welcome to FNL Producer Magazine's top headlines from the past week. I'm your host, Jacob Norderman. A group of more than 150 ag groups and businesses sent a letter to leaders of the House and Senate Ag Committees on August 13th, urging them to complete work on the 2018 Farm Bill before the Agricultural Act of 2014 expires on September 30th. The U.S. House passed its version of the 2018 Farm Bill on June 21st. A week later, on June 28th, the U.S. Senate passed its version of the legislation. The legislation must now head to conference committee where members of the House and Senate will resolve differences between the two versions of the bill. While the Senate version of the bill includes mandatory funding for energy title programs, the House version does not. Growth Energy, the Biotechnology Innovation Organization, and National Corn Growers Association are among the groups that signed the letter. Pacific Ethanol Inc. released second quarter financial results on August 9th, reporting a slight increase in net sales. The company also discussed how current trade barriers and the U.S. EPA's administration of the renewable fuel standard are reducing short-term demand for ethanol. During an investor call, Pacific Ethanol President and CEO Neil Kohler said tariffs and RFS small refinery hardship waivers have resulted in significant demand destruction for U.S. ethanol, resulting in higher than optimal industry inventory levels. Despite this regulatory-induced demand destruction, Kohler said the company believes that market fundamentals remain strong and should support better margins. He also noted the company is encouraged by the recent change in leadership at the EPA. Amedis released second quarter financial results on August 9th as well, reporting increased revenues and gross margins. The company also reported progress being made with its Riverbank cellulosic ethanol plant, including engineering, environmental permitting, and EPC project milestones. During an investor call, Amedis chairman and CEO Eric McAfee briefly discussed the Riverbank project, which will use Lanzatech technology to convert orchard and agricultural waste into ethanol. According to McAfee, construction on the project could begin this year, depending on the timing of a pending USDA loan guarantee. He said the company is currently working with the USDA and expects a loan commitment letter to be issued as soon as this month. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll be back next week with more of the ethanol industry's top stories.